There are discoveries that whisper, faint and distant, barely disturbing the silence of space. And then there are discoveries that tear through that silence like a blade, forcing the universe to reveal something it never meant for us to see. When the sun finally slipped out of alignment and the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward the darkness, astronomers expected 3 i Atlas to reappear like a fading ember from months before. Instead, what Webb saw ignited a wave of fear so quiet, so controlled, so scientifically restrained that the terror didn't come from what was said, but from what wasn't. 3 i Atlas didn't just return. It came back burning, brighter than anything in the records, blazing with more than four times its previous luminosity, glowing not like a comet but like a machine waking up after a long sleep. Beneath the surface, Webb detected hexagonal patterns, perfect, metallic, engineered, shimmering under the reflected light. And then the pulses began, a timed ultraviolet flash every 247 seconds, repeating with precision no cosmic object has ever shown. No randomness, no drift, only intention. So the real question isn't why 3i Atlas returned, but what it's trying to show us, and why the James Webb Telescope seems to have caught it in the middle of something we were never meant to witness. In the long, anxious months while 3i Atlas hid behind the sun, astronomers told themselves it would reappear as comets always do, dim, dusty, unchanged. But when Webb locked onto it again, the brightness spike shattered every model. Natural comets flare, yes, but only in bursts. They erupt chaotically, inconsistently, violently. 3i Atlas did none of that. Instead, it glowed in a controlled surge, a steady 400% increase that rose and fell like a dimmer switch being adjusted by an invisible hand. And woven into that glow was something stranger still, a thermal reading too stable to be natural, holding its temperature like a system actively managing its own heat. It reflected light as though part of its surface had been polished or reconfigured while hidden behind the sun. And the longer Webb watched, the more the brightening behaved not like melting ice, but like a mechanism responding to sunlight with purpose. What returned from behind the sun wasn't the same object that disappeared months earlier. It was sharper, stronger, more deliberate, and it was just getting started. Webb's enhanced imaging peeled back the first layer of brightness to reveal something that should never exist on a drifting chunk of cosmic debris, geometry, not random fractures, not chaotic cracks, but aligned hexagons, precise metallic grid work repeating across the surface like a lattice meant to channel light, heat, or energy. Every rotation revealed more of the pattern, shimmering through the reflective shell that now appeared less like ice and more like a protective casing. And as the surface shifted in smooth transitions, sections of the structure angled themselves toward and away from the sun with a grace that looked engineered, not accidental. Telescopes across the world tried to explain it through dust, ice, or geological structure, but the movement was too coordinated, too smooth, too clean. Natural objects fracture, they break, they tumble. They do not pivot with mathematical precision. 3i Atlas did, and it did so as if the sun itself were activating something buried beneath its skin. When comets approach the sun, they grow tails, Long streams of dust and gas pushed away by sunlight, always pointing opposite the glare. But 3i Atlas rejected that rule the moment it re-emerged. Instead of trailing behind it, its material streamed directly toward the sun, forming a narrow anti-tail unlike anything observed. This wasn't a perspective trick. Hubble confirmed it. Keck confirmed it. European observatories confirmed it. Every telescope saw the same impossible plume holding a stable, unwavering line into the sunlight. Dust doesn't behave this way. Ice doesn't behave this way. Nothing natural does. The anti-tail tightened with each rotation as if anchored to an internal force pushing material forward. Observers compared it to thrusters, not jets of melting ice, but directional bursts like a spacecraft adjusting trajectory. Models failed. Physics broke and a quiet realization swept through the scientific world. Something was guiding the plume, something with intent, something no comet has ever shown before. When spectral data arrived, it carried the cleanest, most unsettling chemical profile astronomers had ever seen in an interstellar object. 
Instead of chaotic blends of rock and ice, 3 Eye Atlas reflected a purity of nickel and iron so refined it resembled alloyed metal more than natural formation. Cyanide compounds appeared too, but not as drifting contaminants. They were embedded in the reflective patterns of the object itself, locked into its surface like components of a designed material. And then came the hollow reading. The light curve pulsed in a rhythm too smooth for a solid object, suggesting internal chambers, cavities, or layered architecture beneath the shell. Mass calculations confirmed it. 3 Eye Atlas was far too light for its size, almost empty inside. A natural comet is dense, heavy, unpredictable. This was none of that. It behaved like a shell, a casing, a vessel. Piece by piece, the chemistry whispered the same conclusion the imagery suggested. This was something constructed, something built, something that didn't originate from geology, but from engineering. The anomaly grew deeper when a small observatory in Spain captured 159 consecutive frames of the object. In them, a narrow jet streamed from a single point on its surface, holding perfect direction across every frame, like a needle of light aimed with unwavering precision. This wasn't a dust plume. Dust plumes wobble, scatter, and fade. This jet didn't. It held steady through rotation. Its shape never changed. Its intensity never drifted. And every time it fired, 3 Eye Atlas shifted, slightly, smoothly, purposefully, exactly like a spacecraft performing micro-adjustments to maintain or alter its course. For astronomers who believed the anti-tail was the first sign of control, this jet was confirmation. Natural objects do not fire stable directional beams. Natural objects do not adjust trajectories with precision. But machines do. Guidance systems do. Probes do. And suddenly, the idea that 3 Eye Atlas was drifting became impossible to defend. It wasn't drifting. It was steering. Then came the silence. The moment 3 Eye Atlas slipped behind the sun, every telescope on Earth and in orbit lost it completely not just in visible light but across nearly every wavelength. Even instruments designed to cut through solar glare returned nothing but static. Weeks passed, then more. And as observatories attempted blind scans, they found only emptiness, an unnatural, perfect blackout in a universe that rarely hides anything completely. This was the one place in the solar system where any transformation could occur without witness, any structural shift, any emission, any maneuver. And then, without warning, 3 Eye Atlas returned. Brighter, sharper, different. The jets looked stronger, the structure more defined. The rhythm of its glow no longer matched the pattern from before the blackout. Whatever happened behind the sun, it altered the object in ways no one could explain, as though the sun's shield had offered it the privacy it needed to change or to prepare. Then came the ultraviolet pulses, a flash every 247 seconds, precise enough to rival atomic clocks. Natural objects do not keep perfect time. Nature is messy. Nature drifts. 3 I Atlas never drifted. And when scientists mapped the pattern, the truth hit like a shockwave. The pulses formed the sequence of prime numbers. Not random noise, not chaotic bursts, but mathematics, universal language. As the signal continued, the final pulse stretched into a 13-minute ultraviolet stream that, once analyzed, formed a golden ratio spiral encoded in binary markers, a pattern nearly identical to the template SETI uses to teach students what an extraterrestrial message might look like. If this was coincidence, it was the most improbable one in the history of astronomy. If it wasn't, then for the first time in human history, a message didn't come from a distant star system. It came from an object passing silently through our own. After the final pulse faded, astronomers expected 3 Eye Atlas to continue on its predicted trajectory. Instead, it shifted direction, just 0.09 degrees, subtle but unmistakable, and began accelerating. Not slowly, not due to radiation, but in a clean, controlled curve that broke every model. Natural objects do not accelerate intentionally. They do not steer. They do not send mathematical signals and then leave on a path that looks planned. But this one did. And as it sped out of the solar system, slipping back into the interstellar dark, one realization settled over the teams watching it vanish. Whatever 3 Eye Atlas was, it had completed something. A scan, a test, a message, an observation, a mission. 
It revealed pieces of itself step by step, sent a signal no comet should ever send, then turned and left without waiting for a reply. The question now haunting every observatory is simple and terrifying. Did we just witness the behavior of a natural object or the quiet departure of something built to watch us? When 3i Atlas finally slipped back into the dark, speeding away faster than any natural object has ever moved after passing through our system, what lingered wasn't the image of its metallic hexagons or its impossible anti-tail or its hollow core echoing with reflections no comet should ever produce. What lingered was the timeline, the sequence, the choreography. Because everything it did, from the 400% brightness surge to the perfect thermal regulation, to the directional jet firing to the blackout behind the sun, to the ultraviolet pulses sending prime numbers into the void, followed a pace too steady, too structured, too impossibly coordinated to belong to a drifting relic of ancient ice. It behaved like something with intention, something with awareness, something that didn't simply pass through the solar system but moved through it with purpose, as if revealing itself in carefully measured layers, testing how closely we were watching, how much we could decode, how far our technology had come since the last time something crossed our path. And when James Webb caught its final act, the golden ratio spiral wrapped in binary signatures, every astronomer who studied the data felt the same rising chill. This wasn't coincidence. This wasn't chaos. This wasn't nature improvising in the darkness. This was communication. Not loud, not dramatic, not cinematic, but quiet, mathematical, deliberate. The kind of message sent by something that does not need language to be understood, something that speaks in patterns that transcend biology, culture, even planets. And the most terrifying part wasn't the signal itself. It was what happened afterward. The course shift, the acceleration, the clean departure, as if the object had completed the very reason it entered our system in the first place. Because if 3i Atlas truly was a machine, or a vessel, or a probe, then it didn't come here to dazzle us with brightness or to behave like a comet pretending to be a comet for just long enough to study us. It came here to observe, to measure, to test the boundary between what we know and what we still can't admit we've seen. And when it was finished, it left with the cold precision of something that has done this before, somewhere else, to someone else. So tonight, as you sit here replaying the ultraviolet pulses, the hexagonal surface, the controlled jets, the hollow architecture, the silence behind the sun. Remember this. The James Webb Telescope didn't just capture light. It captured intention. It showed us something terrifying, not because it threatened us, but because it didn't need to. It watched. It signaled. It left. And now the question echoing across every observatory on Earth isn't what was 3i Atlas. But how many times has something like this passed by before we were even capable of noticing? If this video made you rethink what's drifting through the darkness around us, don't leave quietly. Subscribe, because the next object may already be on its way. Like the video so more people see what NASA still won't say out loud. And comment below, do you believe 3i Atlas was natural, or was it built for a purpose?